Welcome back to my cigar lounge today uh, actually it's the next day so the last video that I did on the 22nd today is January 23rd 2022 uh, still happy new year I guess I'll be saying that to the end of this month and then I'm done but um yeah today I'm gonna run it back with another room 101 now this one is the Siri HN room 101 as you see here this one has like the little red sticker on here I did look up what the HN stands for because it didn't say it on here I was like wait a minute what's the HN stand for uh, I went to cigarsinternational.com and it says that the H stands for Honduran Carrillo Ligero. The N stands for a region uh, in the Dominican Republic, which is Navarrete or Navarrete, Navarrete. One of those is correct. I know that. I think it's Navarrete. It says it's located near the coast and that it's supposed to give you some uh, characteristics of cream and natural sweetness. So this should be right up my alley. That's honestly what I'm looking for today. I did look at kind of some of the notes on here just because I was like, I had cinnamon waffles for like my brunch and I was like, okay, what do I want today? It's currently 441 and the temperature is probably declining. It's gonna keep declining. It's It was 44 degrees, now it's 41 degrees. So it is declining pretty quickly. I don't wanna make these ones too long. Like I said, it's just too cold in Virginia right now 40 degrees in Virginia feels like 30 something this one's supposed to be a medium to full body the shapes can be a petite corona the wrapper is Crelo 98 Honduran and the origin is Honduras the binder is going to be from Brazil and the filler is Dominican Honduras notes in this are supposed to be leather cream sweetness and uh coffee it also has some cedar notes from what they said this is what they say this ain't what I said this is what they say all right so let's go ahead and get right into it let me go ahead and cut this thing open I think we're gonna do go ahead and do like the heart shape cut on this just because I like the heart shape cut it gives it a nice draw and it really looks amazing I like the way it looks we are gonna go ahead and smell it mmm that smells like chocolate. Yes, this smells literally like a chocolate bar. Very light and airy, uh, very seamless veins, or really minimal veins. Has a little bit of toothiness. I don't know if you all can tell. I know the light's kind of hitting it. There is a slight crack here, so we gotta kind of monitor that. There is a slight crack. Hopefully that doesn't affect anything. I'm gonna try to keep that intact as long as I can, but it might uh, rip apart hopefully it doesn't rip apart though it actually looks like this one might be a triple cap no lie like I can actually see all the lines that they did for this one I try to move out the way all right let's cut it open the trusty V cut it is quiet outside which I love it's the one thing I actually like about this neighborhood it is kind of quiet all right here we go focus Okay, okay. Nice little starter cut. We're gonna go ahead and go this way now. This is a pretty big ring gauge as well. It does look slightly dried up. That's the only thing that does worry me. It looks slightly dried up. Like I said, there shouldn't be anything wrong with it, but there we go. Those are all wondering, that's what the heart shape looks like. Yeah very sweet like all i get is sweetness off this one all right let's go ahead and get it lit i do have my lighter inside so i'll go ahead and grab it really quick all right here we go it's always interesting how to figure out if you're getting at the right amount or not i was just talking about it in the last video of how you really should toast this in the distancing because it always changes depending on which one or which cigar you have. One cigar could be skinnier, so you never know. Yeah, I don't know who did that cap, but they did a bad job on it. Oh, wow, that's super creamy. That's the little crack I was talking about. Unfortunately, it is kind of taking effect uh, hopefully I can try to fix it a little bit. I don't really want to touch the wrap or anything. I do taste a little bit of pepper, but it's nothing crazy. Like it's very little. Uh, the opening is good though. Very just mild and just creamy. All right. I'll talk to y'all in the first third.
<laughs> All right, sorry, y'all. I was listening to uh, Caesar Batman with Jamma, and uh, I couldn't play it on uh, YouTube because, you know, the copyright. Construction of this is pretty bad, I must say. I'm really surprised by that because the other one was actually doing perfect. It's burning pretty well, even though the crack was in there. It's burning okay. It's like a little wave going on. It's like that. But I'm not going to mess with it. I don't want to mess with it any more than it already is. But in the first third, I'm definitely getting a uh, straight cedar and just creamy and sweetness. That's literally what they just said. And the notes is what I'm getting. They said though the coffee is supposed to come later on. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens in the little transition period. And uh, I will come back to y'all in the second third. Getting a little bit colder, guys. I must say. I'm just gonna run the music, and uh, you guys can just watch me smoke whatever you're smoking right now, or you're about to smoke, or what you just smoked. Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> She's a bad man, pajama, and just as fine as she can be. All right, so we're in the second third now. I am starting to get a little bit of coffee notes. This is the most wonky burn I've ever seen on any cigar. Very poor construction on this. Maybe might have to do with my burn, but even with the burn, it's still just a wonky construction. And I could kind of tell because of the way it just felt. It felt, it just didn't feel tight all the way. As you can kind of see, I'll try to mock the light a little bit, but if you can kind of tell how all the flakes, it's weird because I don't taste any of those flakes though. It's just kind of just, yeah, I don't know. Either way, they messed up the cap design. It has, I really don't think, it, even if I had to use a guillotine cutter, it probably would have ran to the same issue. This one's good though, it's not bad. I have nothing really bad to say about it besides the construction flavors are good it's sweet creamy as a light little pepper note i am starting to get that like coffee vibe uh just straight kind of black coffee which i don't mind it just reminds me let me just say this basically what coffee smells like this is what that tastes like and i love that that's really cool other than that i really don't have much else to say and uh i will see y'all in the final third all right we are coming in on the final third here as y'all see, I'm almost at the nub. I'm almost at the nub. It's heating up. It is heating up. The construction, it's so weird. I think it's literally just the wrapper that was dried up because everything else, it's burning fine on the inside. Like that coal is hot and I'm not rushing it or anything. I'm going like 30 seconds uh, between every like breath. Good. Uh, I'll say the main, the main note in here is definitely cedar and cream so if you want something like that and by what i mean by cedar to explain it a little bit better just think of like that smell of cedar when i say it smells like cedar or really it tastes like cedar i mean it smells what cedar tastes like when it's burning or yeah it's sm it tastes like what cedar smells like when it's burning see what i mean it burns great. I am going to go ahead and take this ash off because I don't want it on me. Great cigar. It reminds me of the My Father's Connecticut. So you can check that one out in the top right corner. Uh, that cigar I wasn't a fan of mainly because of that almond flavor. It was coming in way too strong with almond. And I absolutely cannot stand almond. Uh, I try to get away from anything almond. Almond milk. I hate it. Just, I don't know what it is with the craze of almonds. I've never liked almonds since I was a kid, and I still do not like almonds to this day. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all all know what I'm talking about, man. To this day. To this day. To this day. All right, so I just tapped it off. Um, yeah, like I said, I just don't want it on me. Uh, but see how it's like unraveling? The thing is unraveling like nobody's business, but... The flavors are still there. I will give it that. It is heating up. I think you should check this one out. I don't know if you'll be able to find it. Uh, this one kind of sells out a lot from what I've seen. The prices run about 
think it's like about seven to maybe nine dollars so it's a relatively inexpensive stick i personally like the other room 101 more than this one though believe it or not i actually like uh what was san andreas that one was good but i hope you all did enjoy the video if you did remember to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see some more content like this i'd love to have you here we only got three cigars left guys uh the last one when I tell y'all that cigar is like this long, <laughs> I'm not smoking that whole thing. If you think I'm smoking that whole thing, I'm not. But it is, I I'll let y'all see what it is. In the comment section below right now, tell me what you think the last cigar is going to be that I smoke. Or just tell me really what brand, not really what cigar it is, just tell me what brand you think it is. And subscribe so you can see what that last cigar is. Because it's probably going to, I'll probably have that video out. I want to say the end of this week, I should have another cigar review coming. Uh, like I said, there's three left. So then after that, I will be taking a break. Uh, it will probably be maybe like three months or so. So don't comment and be like where the cigar video is at. Uh, this video right here. So number 12, you're hearing it right here. Uh, you probably won't see one. After that last one, you're more than likely not going to see one for maybe like three months or so. Just because I'll be on a different grind. I'm already on a grind right now, kind of pushing out content as y'all seen. It's pretty much been daily. This whole month has been actually like daily videos. I'm really proud of myself for that and getting back to the daily videos. So shout out to uh, Ashley Perkins. Uh, y'all don't know who she is. You might know who she is. I'll leave her in the comment section below. She's a really dope woman and uh, hope to meet her one day. She doesn't like people who smoke cigars, so, and that's one of the reasons why I'm like, I got to stop smoking these. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. I know this is a little long outro, but I just wanted to let y'all know, keep y'all up to date on what's kind of happening with the cigar videos, because I know a lot of people like watching these videos. I appreciate each and every one of y'all, and until next time, peace out. I can't really do it with the sock, hold on. <laughs>